Hey everyone, Tin Man here with today's jail update and we have got a doozy today. There are big hits to a lot of the major meta compositions right now. One of the most commonly played, probably the most commonly played unit, Arc Warden, is in jail for the day and he is a big loss to any composition that really wanted a, an easy sustained damage source. So with Arc Warden gone, a lot of those warrior compositions that really relied on him for damage output would typically have to rely to other sources, such as Bristleback or Dragon Knight, but get this, they're both in jail today as well. So the options for a lot of those compositions, like warriors that want just some kind of damage source behind that tanky front line, are going to be rather limited. So instead of running Arc Warden, Bristleback, or Dragon Knight, you're going to have to turn to things like other savages, like perhaps Lone Druid and some, some Druids, maybe even Alchemist for his AoE Armor Shred, which will increase your damage output, of course, and even rely a little bit heavier on somebody like Troll Warlord, who you typically would want to play, but he would be one of many damage sources. Now he may be the sole focus of a lot of those compositions. Or possibly you go more into a Hunter's build with three or even six Hunters to pair with your Warrior Frontline. Other than that, the Ace of Mages Lich is gone, and this doesn't completely invalidate mages, not in the same way that something like Keeper of the Light does, although it's definitely a really big hit. Mage builds can work without Lich, although they're much worse, because they don't really have that, that sustained super late game power without the Ace of Mage, but you can still assemble six mages and still get your human buff and still have uh, some damage output, but you will be lacking Dragon Knight as well, so once again, this is, gets a little bit dicey to try to play any mage composition. Maybe if you want to, just try to stick to three mages, like a Keeper of the Light plus, you know, Crystal Maiden plus Puck or something like that, just as a splash into another build to get a little bit of magic damage. Um, but without Lich and Dragon Knight, some of that, that late game mage damage is definitely hurting. Weaver is out for Hunters, and this means that Insect Hunters is a little bit harder to get together, but other than that, you know, three and six Hunter builds can still pair pretty well with non-Insect front lines, typically with Warriors, just because they're so versatile. So I wouldn't be too afraid of playing Warriors today. Phantom, or, or Hunters rather, or Warriors for that matter. Phantom Assassin is out for the Assassin build, which also hurts the Elusive Assassins, which... We had Anti-Mage out yesterday, so Phantom Assassin out today means you still won't be able to complete the three elusive three assassins with just the, the three units, Anti-Mage, Phantom, and Templar. That being said, I don't think it's the biggest loss in the world to assassins. You can still run six assassins pretty easily. Phantom was a big carry, but you can get big carry performances out of things like three-star Queen of Pain or three-star Slark, not necessarily requiring a Phantom Assassin to really go crazy and win those fights. We're also missing Tinker. We had one good day of playing with all the Scrappies and Inventors, but with one of them back in jail, pretty much the entire alliance seems to be in a bad spot if one of them is jailed. And Shadow Fiend was probably one of the least played units. He just takes backseat to a lot of demons, so it's not too big of a deal to see him missing. Good luck in your games today, and I will see you tomorrow.